kids, this is COG Kids TV. Let's give our full energy as we sing and dance for Jesus. So come on and let's praise and worship the Lord. Nga pala si teacher din, and you're tuned into COG Kids TV. Thank you for praising and worshiping God with us, kasama si teacher Jenny. And we hope that you had fun. Sana din ay excited kayo for our lesson today. Speaking of lesson, nakasali ba kayo sa ating COG Kids TV Zoom class last week? Kung oo, raise both of your hands. And kung hindi pa, sabihin mo na si na mommy and daddy and join our online classes every Saturday after every episode. You can see the Zoom link in our caption or in the comment section before this episode ends. When you click the link, you will be redirected to our virtual classroom. Sobrang exciting ng ating Zoom class today and your teachers and your classmate kids will be waiting for you. Naalala niyo ba ang ating lesson last week? Galing talaga! Very good! Our topic was about ambition. At ngayong araw naman, isa na namang good trait ang matututunan natin and that is about belongingness. Pero, bago tayo magsimula, syempre, magpe-pray muna tayo. Let us do our prayer formation. First, put your hands together. Second, bow down your head. And third, close your eyes. Lord, maraming 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 salamat Panginoon sa isang magandang araw na ibinigay niyo po sa amin. Sana Lord ay gabayan niyo po kami na marami po kaming matutunan Lord tungkol sa inyo at sa inyo mga salita. Lord, be with us God. In Jesus' name, Amen. And now, here is Teacher Desiree to tell us a story. 
Hi kids! It's me, Teacher Desiree. How are you? Are you all happy and healthy? Great! We hope that you will share to your friends what you are learning from the Bible in this COG Kids TV episode. Excited ka na bang matuto ng isang bagong lesson? Today, we will learn about belongingness. Sabihin nga natin ang sabay-sabay in 3, 2, 1, belongingness. Hmm, do you know what belongingness means, kids? The dictionary defines belongingness as the quality or state of being an essential or important part of something. It is a human need. It's like this. We need to eat, drink, and sleep. Same goes with belongingness. It is the need to give and receive affection from others. Lahat tayo, kids, we need a strong and stable relationship with other people. We all need to be accepted and be important part of a group, whether it is family, church, friends, classmates, or a sports team. Our Bible story for today is from Exodus chapter 2, verses 1 to 9, and it's entitled, Moses was hidden in the Nile River. Let's learn how belongingness was seen in the life of Moses. Now, a man from the house of Levi married a Levite woman, and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. Kids, alam nyo ba, noong mga panahong yun, pinag-utos ng Pharaoh na patayin lahat ng baby boys. Kaya, tinago ng nanay ang baby na to for three months. But when she could hide him no longer, she got a papyrus basket for him and coated it with tar and pitch. Then, she placed the child in it and put it among the reeds along the bank of the Nile. His sister stood at a distance to see what would happen to him. Nako, na-imagine niyo ba yun, kids? Palutang-lutang ang baby na yun habang nasa loob ng basket. Grabe, ang galing. Ituloy natin ang story. Then, Pharaoh's daughter went down to the Nile to bathe. And her attendants were walking along the riverbank. She saw the basket among the reeds and sent her slave girl to get it. She opened it and saw the baby. He was crying and she felt sorry for him. This is one of the Hebrew babies, she said. She drew him out of the water and named the baby Moses. Then the sister of baby Moses came near and asked Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and get one of the Hebrew women to nurse the baby for you? Yes, go, she answered. And the girl went, and got the baby's mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this baby and nurse him for me, and I will pay you. So the woman took the baby and nursed him. Inampun ng Pharaoh's daughter si baby Moses. Buti na lang kids, dahil kailangan ng baby ang pag-aalaga at pag-aaruga. Like you and me, we need to belong. We need to be taken care of and loved. Wow, what an amazing story! That showed belongingness. Grabe ang nangyari kay Moses kids, no? Pero buti na lang ay hindi siya namatay at inampon at pinalaki siya ng Pharaoh's daughter. He belonged to the family of Pharaoh growing up. But God has a mission for him when he grows up. But that's a different story for another time. Who loves playing basketball? Who loves playing badminton? Who loves swimming? How does it feel kids to belong in one team? It's exciting to play together, right? It's even more fun if you are winning together! Kids, are you familiar with the Olympic Games? The Olympic Games is a very big celebration in the world of sports. People from different countries gather in one place. The Olympic symbol, better known as the Olympic rings, consists of five intertwined rings and it represents the unity and belongingness ng limang continents sa buong mundo. The colored versions of the rings, blue, yellow, black, green, and red, over a wide field forms the Olympic flag. 
these scholars were chosen because every nation had at least one of them in its national flag. Isn't it amazing to see that people, whether black, white, brown, or yellow, can play together as one family? It doesn't matter what your color is, or where you come from, or what language you speak. You are part of the team, and that is belongingness. Somebody said that we are twice the Lord's. First, God created us. And second, God saved us through the sacrifice of His Son, Jesus Christ. In John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. Let me repeat that. Whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. Wow, what a beautiful promise. Our memory verse for today is from Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1. I, the Lord, created and formed you. Do not be afraid. I have rescued you. I have called you by name, and you belong to me. Today, we have three W's to remember for our key points. W, W, W. First, when you feel like nobody wants you, remember, God created you, and you belong to Him. Kapag napapagalitan ka o napagsasabihan ng parents mo, hindi ibig sabihin nun na ayaw nila sa'yo. Your parents want what's best for you. You belong to your family. They are concerned and they care. Para sa ikabubuti mo yun. God gave you a family here on earth to take care of you. You belong to Him. And second, when you feel like nobody loves you, remember that Jesus died to save you. You belong to Him. Huwag mong isipin na walang nagmamahal sa'yo. Alam mo ba, mahalaga ka. Kids who are orphans or those who are abandoned will not remain lonely and unloved. Magkakaroon din sila ng friends o kaya ng family na aampun sa kanila. They will be loved. At kung hindi pa man mangyari yon sa ngayon, ay meron nang isang nagmamahal, si Jesus. And last, we all belong to the family of God. Itinuturing niya tayong mga anak, kaya magkakapatid tayo sa faith. Hindi dapat mag-away-away at maglaban-laban. Let us treat each other with respect and kindness. Give and receive love because we all belong to God. There might be days that we will feel na parang hindi tayo belong at gusto ng enemy na Maramdaman natin na walang nagmamahal sa atin, walang nag-aalaga sa atin, at hindi tayo importante. Pero kids, laging tandaan, never tayong iiwan at pababayaan ni Lord, kahit na ano man ang mangyari. Sabihin mo rin yan sa iyong mga friends na mahal na mahal sila ni Lord. Thank you for listening kids! Now, here's teacher then for our closing prayer. See you again next time. Bye, kids! Thank you, Teacher Desiree, for teaching us about belongingness. What about you, kids? Ano ang favorite part niyo sa story natin for today? For me, I love the part where Pharaoh's daughter saw Moses in the floating basket. Today, kids, we have three W's to remember for our key points. W, W, W. First, when you feel like nobody wants you, Remember that God created you and you belong to Him. Second, when you feel like nobody loves you, remember that Jesus died to save you and you belong to Him. Third, we all belong to the family of God. Sabi nga sa ating memory verse na makikita sa Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1, I, the Lord, created and formed you. Do not be afraid. I have rescued you. I have called you by name. Now, you belong to me. At dahil dyan, let us pray and do the prayer formation. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po sa araw po na ito. Thank you God for teaching us about belongingness. And thank you God for reminding us, Panginoon, that we, we belong to you, God. Lord, salamat Lord sa inyong bugtong na anak na si Jesus at tinatanggap po namin siya as our Lord and Savior. 
be with us god continually in jesus name amen if you enjoyed our bible story today i-share nyo na ang ating video sa inyong friends classmates at family did you miss your teachers and classmates in sunday school kung oo don't forget to join our cog kids zoom class every saturday and learn about god's word in a fun and creative way this online class is open to children ages 4 to 11 years old. So don't miss it, kids! Kaya naman, kids, click the Zoom link na makikita natin sa caption or sa comment section at para makapasok tayo sa ating virtual classroom. Magkita-kita ulit tayo next week, ha? For another Bible story. Sabay-sabay tayong matuto sa mga kwento sa Biblia dito lang sa CLG Kids TV. Bye!